Hey guys, how's it going? So this video I'm gonna be talking about Neo and Candy Technologies. So before I talk about them, I just wanna point out something that's hilarious. Uh, so if you pay thirty dollars for Disney Mulan, you get to watch it now. But if you wait three months, uh, uh on December fourth. It becomes free for all Disney Plus people. So, is it worth paying Disney $30? If you support Disney, if you support the company making a movie, yes. Or if you're the type of person that is impatient and have to watch it and is willing to pay that $30, then yes. But majority of the people are probably going to wait until December 4th to watch this. Just wait three months three months and you get to watch this uh you know patience that's all that matters personally i'm not paying for this movie i am not paying for this movie and the reviews on it are really bad too i would just wait until it becomes free or rather for people who are subscribed to disney plus just saying and uh mulan got horrible horrible negative reviews a lot of people, 231 people voted negative for it. It had a user score of 3.0. Metacritic score gave it a 68, but users gave it a 3. That's pretty bad. That means that people who actually watched it, who actually play paid Disney, uh, don't like it. And I, I trust user score more than I trust meta, Metacritic scores because, yeah, that's just me. Anyways, uh, I just, out of curiosity, I just wonder how much Disney is making off of Mulan. Because, like, when you see a movie get released on box office, they, re uh, the box office re report how much money they are making on the, you know, opening weekend or over the month. I wonder how much Mulan is going to make just on Disney+. Plus. I think Disney has, like, 50 or something million subscriber how many of those 50 million subscribers if 1 million people paid 30 bucks that would be 300 million dollars i believe so yeah 300 million dollars oh sorry 30 million dollars right a million people yeah a million people pay 30 bucks would be 30 million dollars if or if they made 30 million dollars off of that i would you know, that would be a very big disappointment and the stock would tank hard. But we'll see what happens. I mean, will Disney release the numbers? Probably not. But you never know. We'll see what happens. Anyways, I would appreciate a thumbs up for this video. Uh, you don't have to, but I would appreciate it. So let's talk about Neo. Neo obviously is loved by investors. Just completely love because like 162 million shares traded, uh, average volume of 137 million. You know, if, if we just take, uh, you know, average 136 million shares times, let's just give it like 17 bucks. You know, that's 2.3 billion dollars get traded on an average. Uh, for Neo stock, it's insane amount of uh, how many uh how big how much retail investors and big money love Neo, and want to pump the stock. So, but Candy is not getting the same reception. Uh, Neo, like I I think the biggest reason why people are so bullish on Neo is because they have a very good branding. Maybe I don't know. Uh, in China, they probably have a very good branding. They are like maybe the second best premium seller of cars, but they don't produce their own cars, which, you know, I, I don't like that. But Candy Technologies does. Candy makes their own cars. So, hypothetically, can Neo buy out candy which is trading for a, dic a ridiculous evaluation of 342 million that is like like nothing like a drop not it's like it would be it wouldn't even matter the delusion is like minimal at best buy out candy 
So then they can, because Candy wants to start up operations in the U.S. They want to start up a factory, a facility in the U.S. I, I believe uh, right here, uh, China budget EV maker eyes setting up North American manufacturing plant. That is very expensive. That requires hundreds of millions or billions of dollars to start up a manufacturing plant in America. And if we look on the balance sheet, where are they going to get that money from? They, they can't get it from their stock. No. Uh, but where the hell, where are they going to get that money from? They have, what, like, three million dollars, three point seven million dollars of cash, but I guess they do have a hundred and eighteen million dollars of receivables. So in theory, they have about approximately a hundred and twenty something million dollars of cash on the balance sheet if you combine the receivables with the cash and cash equivalent. So yes, they have a hundred and twenty million, but that's not enough money to start up a production facility. You need a manufacturing facility in the United States. You need a lot more money than that. You need robots. You need you need to uh, unless they're like I don't know, maybe they they plan to partner up someone to start up a facility, but Neo they just raised like what 1.5 billion dollars not too long ago at $17 per share. Uh, obviously, Neo uh, has the ability to raise money. They have the love of investors, and uh, the uh, the stock is already super diluted. Anyways, people call Aurora a dilute uh, a fat pig, and uh, nobody bitches about Neo being a fat pig. You know that's the, the logic behind the market for you. But whatever. Anyways, uh, Neo should just buy up candy, pay them a premium, I don't know, $10 or something, $11. And then Neo, and then candy can rely on Neo to become that giant and, you know, become $100. And candy shareholders would benefit from that because they use, uh, they, they basically acquire Neo stock. I'll, I'll be honest with you, a stock is simply. Uh, a tool for the company to ex uh, execute their strategy and obviously they have no attention from investors right now and uh, but Neo does so if candy bought uh, if Neo bought out candy candy can easily use Neo's money and expertise to start up their manufacturing facility in the United States to make Neo branded cars which Neo has a way stronger brand present than Candy. People, a lot of people call Candy cars a clown car, <laughs> but Mr. Bean car, but yeah. Anyways, that's it for my video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.